Hello, welcome. W.J. Burns, PHX. I'm just uh, winding up the uh, chassis on this uh, Zenith 6S439. And um, was getting, uh, was making the adjustments to the trimmers and setting up the buttons and doing an alignment <clears throat> on this unit before uh, sticking it back in the chassis. And wanted to do a quick video on making the adjustments to your uh, push button presets. Uh, since this is out of the cabinet and uh, the front is is off of it uh, You can see the uh, adjusters and Compensators and trimmers much easier Here is the, the thing with the bees only this would be what you see in once the cabinet goes on And uh, you would pop the uh, you would pop the cover off of this to access these adjusters. So um, what what I do is uh, I have a dowel, an eighth inch dowel. I think it's an eighth inch now it might be a little bigger than that that uh, I've taken uh, a, a hacksaw blade and put a notch or a groove in it I don't know if you could see that very well uh, and then uh, Go against the grain here whenever you whenever you cut the notch in it, and and then dress it up with some super glue to harden the the wood, so that when you encounter one of these trimmers with a tough thread on it. Um, it doesn't split your wood. Um, you might even have to use a, a pair of needle nose to break it loose and get it to moving real good and then go to the dowel. So uh, what I do is uh, I have a a nut driver uh, that uh, it's quarter inch for the uh, the nuts on the patterns or the antenna trimmers and uh, once you know your station's frequency just push the button that you want push the button that you want to set the frequency on and of course look at the documentation uh, these here uh, work in a certain part of the broadcast band uh, this first one here might work in the lowest part of the band between 5500 5, or 550 kilohertz and maybe 750 or 800 the next one might be from 600 to 900 and then next and so on and so forth so uh, once you know uh, which stations you want to add in just pick the appropriate one in the in that region of the band and then adjust the oscillator which is the little screw thing and uh, twist it either clockwise or or counterclockwise to bring in the frequency and uh, these here will thread quite a quite a few uh, quite a distance you can see the the different lengths here on these 
so you can screw them pretty much all the way in and back them pretty much all the way out you can back them either farther than this one and uh, not worry too much about taking it apart so to speak so adjust it for the sharpest signal and then go in there with your nut driver on the nut and twist it counterclockwise or clockwise until you get the loudest volume out of it that's your that adjusts your antenna um, and this is pretty much independent of the uh, of the uh, the main antenna the loop antenna on the inside and then you would go to the next one and adjust it forward and back until you get the sharpest signal and then you go in and adjust the nut for the loudest volume and you do that for all of these uh, each one and that's all there is to it so uh, hope that helps you out uh, and you can do that for you can do that for uh, any of the ones that have these particular style of adjustments even even the Philco's the Philco's don't use this particular type of thing they use uh, a pair of adjusters one for uh, one for the oscillator and the other one for the antenna so for five push buttons you would have ten adjustments one for the oscillator one for the antenna for each of the buttons on a Philco so um, yeah that's all you need to know and you can do that with uh, the Philco's uh, some maybe some GE's uh, some uh, some of these uh, or all of these Zeniths pretty much so uh, that's all you need thanks for watching